Okay, in this tutorial we'll continue creating animation shapes that we can use within the game engine. And in the last lesson we worked with the shape key editor, so I'm just going to open up that window real quick anyway. So, I'll go get to the dope sheet, and in the last lesson we worked with the action editor, I mean with the shape key editor, and then this time we'll work with the action editor. And you notice it also has a data block that you can access. And it's similar to the way this work, to the way the shape key editor works, except we're going to work with it just slightly differently, but we'll do it by using an armature. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into ortho mode with number five on the numpad. I'm going to press number one, right? Okay, and then I'll scale it on uh, Z, so SZ, and I'll just scale it up and I'll move it up a little bit. And then maybe I'll make it a little bit skinnier, so I'll press S Shift Z and make it a little skinnier. And then, so I'm going to add an armature to the scene. I'm going to left click down here first. I'm going to press Shift A and get an armature right there and a single bone. So I've added it there. It's there. You can't see it. This will all come back to you real quick. You want to come up here to the armature and down here turn on X-ray like that. So there I can see the bone. And then I'm going to go into edit mode with tab. I'm going to grab this top piece. I'm just going to slide it down here. And I'm going to add some more bones with E, Z, extruding it, and then on Z. And then E, Z, click, E, Z click, easy click. We could have just subdivided one large bone, but this gives us other ways to do things as well. Alright, so I have my armature basically within the shape of this object like this. And then from here, now I'm going to go back into perspective mode. I like working in perspective mode a little bit better. And then you can see I'm not lined up with that object, so it's poorly lined, so I'm just going to leave that there and put it right over there like that. Okay, so I'm approximately in the center of the object here. All right, so now I want to right-click the object first, and then shift right-click the armature. I'm going to parent the object to the armature, press Control-P, and then I'm going to set the parent, you have these other options, I'm going to use automatic weights. All right, so now I've parented this to that, and we can verify that this is actually working by selecting the armature, and then I want to go into pose mode. Well, if I hit tab, tab just puts me into edit mode, as you see here. So actually, from there, I have to hit control tab, and then that puts me into pose mode like this. So I'm going to grab this bone up here. I'm just going to grab this and move it. And you can see I'm actually moving that around like this. Let me just press G, and you can see it's moving it. But there's not a lot going on, and that's because I don't have enough segments built within this shape here. So I'm going to control tab and go back into object mode and I'm going to grab this object and I'm going to subdivide it. So I'm going to go into edit mode, press control R, roll, roll the wheel mouse a few times, left click. And I've subdivided that, yikes. I'm going to left click again. I've subdivided it and I'll leave that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unparent this for the second. I, Alt P, I'm going to clear the parent so it's no longer connected. And I'm going to do this again. Now I'm going to click this, shift click this, press control P, I'm going to reparent it. Come up here, grab the armature, go into edit mode, control tab, into pose mode. Now when I move it, you see I'm moving that bone. Let's turn it to the side. You can see it. Let me see. I'll just press G. And you can see now I'm moving it around like that. If I grab this one, G, I'm moving it down like this. So now it's connected the way I want it. Well, the reason I'm doing that is now I want to create this shape change within here, just like we did with the shape key editor, but I'm going to do it with the action editor in here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set keyframes. So here I am down at frame one. I'm just going to say press I and I'll just use location rotation scale and I've set a keyframe for that and then maybe I'll come up here to frame 50 like this I'm going to press R I'm just going to rotate it like that and I'm going to press I and set another keyframe so I've set two keyframes in here well see by virtue of the fact that I have this action editor there I've suddenly set these keyframes like this or you can see them being set all right so if I just play, run the animation, Alt-A, there's my animation in here. All right, well, now let's go see if we can just drag that immediately into the game engine. 
All right, so we'll go over to the game engine, well, which I am. It doesn't matter when I'm building that thing like this. And I'll go into the logic bricks. And I'll do the same thing as before. But now notice I'm setting the animation based on this armature bone that I have selected because that's what I was animating. I was anim animating the armature in pose mode. So I'll do like before, I'll add a keyboard sensor. Use A. I'll add an action actuator. Just connect them together. That'll give me an AND controller automatically. I'll go grab the armature action, which was the armature, which was the name of that default armature in that scene. And I'll set it from 1 to 50. Okay, and I'll make sure I'm in texture mode, which I am. I'll just go full screen, move up a little bit closer, and then I'll run it. So I'll start the game engine. Well, okay, before you can start the game engine, actually, you have to go out of, edit, out of pose mode and go back to object mode. Okay, now I can do it. So I'll start the game engine, and I'll press A. But before I do that, let's get rid of this. I have this up here. So you have this show physics, physics visualization set. So you need to get rid of that. Okay, now let's do it. And there it is. It did it one time, I'll hold it again, press it again, it does it another time, press it again, it does it another time. So within the game engine, we have control of the actions now, or we have control of the shape keys. And we're gonna need both of those because that's how we're gonna build our sci-fi creatures within the simulator. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.